love when Zoom decides to do an update when you're trying to hurry up. <laughs> I'm trying to log in. Right. It's never like a normal, I'm not tired or whatever night. It's like, oh, I want to get this done. Let's get this going. Let's catch up. Yeah, and like then, we're starting late as it is. <laughs> late. And then it's like, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Um, so we have another double episode tonight, an extra wet Wednesday. (laughs) Do we know if we're having another one next week or if it's just, I don't know. I'm wondering what happened scheduling wise that they decided to double up. Like, but I feel like, like the people, the planners at, at Bravo, you know, the scheduling people, plugging things in and like oh you know scandal happened so we have to shift things around or whatever like i wonder if something is going on and they said oh well let's just double up episodes of low deck and then we'll be able to slot this other thing in here you know that makes sense that would make a lot of sense that's the only thing i can think of but it's also really complicated it could be they just did it because you know yeah i'm on season six of Vanderpump Rules and it hasn't been a very long time I've been playing it in the background of whatever I'm doing Mm -hmm. I haven't been like fully focused on it but I'm trying to catch up (laughs) frankly it's not a show you need to like sit and like focus on to make sure you get all the intricate plot details no and then they do like what 90 day does and they'll like go back and replay so many different scenes that I feel like I can miss like three episodes and then just see it like recaptured in short clips. Right, right. <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah. What's season six? I forget what happens in there. Uh well, right now Jax just broke up with Brittany out of nowhere. He had sex with her at night, and then in the morning he goes to get coffee and he comes back. He's like, Yeah, just not working. And then she's crying, and then she's getting in an Uber. That's where I left off. Um, Sandoval and Schwartz just uh became partners. In the Tom Tom, yeah. What else happened? Everything's kind of blurred together. Oh, Sheena's in like La La Land with her boyfriend Rob, thinking that he's the one. No, he's not. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> so of course I'm like actively googling stuff. I'm like, wait, what's happening? Who's, no, who's Rob? She's been married and divorced since then, <laughs> and married again. Oh, she wait, she got married again after what's his face. Shay? Yeah, she just got married. Oh, okay. On this past season. Gotcha. She just got married on this past season. So, yeah, after Shay, she got married. Remarried. She got remarried, yeah. Yeah. These people are crazy. Yeah. I'm here for it, though. Yeah. I love, like, the text you were sending me, you were, like, you were, like, typing in all caps. You were that angry about these people. (laughs) And you were talking about how toxic toxic they are and how terrible they are. And, oh, my God, it's horrible. And and I can't stop watching it. (laughs) Yeah. I have to check myself and make sure I'm not, like, starting to turn into, like, a Stassi or something. Like, (laughs) somebody stop me if I do, because, you know. It's like you hate these people so much, but I can't stop watching it. Right. Must it's, keep watching. It's like a drug. It's a reality TV dr- No wonder the show's so popular. I get it. I get it, everyone. I get it. <laughs> took, her, took you a little bit to come on board, but you get it. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's okay. Perfectly normal, I think. Like James Kennedy, toxic asshole, horrible right. person. See, horrible so, person his mom even worse what am i watching like like so the questions i was asking kristen when we were doing our sand scandal primer like it they make sense now because i'm like wait how is james suddenly like america's darling like he's an asshole like what because i think i left off in like season six so oh uh, okay yeah yeah, yeah. crazy so. I feel like Below Deck is at least a happier and not as toxic environment. You know, there's some toxicity, of course. Of course. But it's it's not to the level that... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no. no. There's also not cocaine involved in drugs. Because, I mean, Jax was, like, sweating and, like, 
Oh my god! Like twitching, I was like, "Okay, he is on something right yeah, now." Yeah, yeah, largely believed cocaine, um, but um, I mean, allegedly, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I mean, I thought it was confirmed, but I don't know. I mean, I thought we had video somewhere of him actually shooting it up his nose, and I don't know what you're talking about. I don't store cocaine. Um, <laughs> I'm just sweating. My pupils are. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm just, uh, the, the, I don't know. Um, 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 <laughs> sorry. I've been battling this like low level migraine and <laughs> my brain's not cooperating right now. Oh no. So, um, no, so I'm overdue for my Botox for migraine, right? You get it every 12 weeks and I'm overdue. I don't know why, but whatever it's, it's scheduled now. I go in next week. Um, but like sometimes I can develop a a headache in that tail. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. And I did kind of in this one. And so it's like been developing like the like this, like the outer layer of my scalp just feels like on fire and like squeezing my head. Oh it's like low level. It's like a weird anyway. So, <laughs> so, so I'll uh, talk softly as to not trigger not trigger i've um make it worse yeah no I, I i took my muscle relaxer so um that'll be putting me to sleep here soon. are you hydrated yes and okay, i'm drinking more more water right now that's good i'm gonna stay hydrated yeah um anyway <laughs> um <laughs> we're talking about uh below deck <laughs> versus oh yeah they're not as toxic as as Vanderpump, right? No, because these people are hardworking. They actually work. They're like, I feel like they're younger and stuff too. But like, not a lot of them. I mean, I think there are very, I mean, age wise, I think they're probably the same age, right? Yeah. I, I say years. like, oh, they, they seem younger, but they're probably all the same age. But for me, like the people who are like the yachties and stuff, those are more the people that I uh, relate to, right? Because yeah, like, me too. That's like you know the people you know, and I, and and I you know, like I've said, I have a sailing background, and I've done some you know, some some crewing on some boats and stuff, and um, and, and so that that's what I relate to, and so like the people in Sur, like with all of their like vapidness and their, you know, beauty and the way that they have to present themselves and their skinny and stuff. That's not a world that I ever related to on any level because I wasn't that person. Um, and yeah. I still don't relate to it uh, even, you know, now, and, and that's fine, you know, fully accept that that's okay. Um, but I've never related to that. So, so, they so i don't know so the, it seems like it, and their vapidness and their toxicity to me i don't know like it could be i don't know like it's just it's all fascinating to me i mean <laughs> but yeah i don't know they, they they do seem like they're in a different world of toxicity than like the yachty folks yeah more gritty yeah definitely i agree uh, LA, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> West Hollywood, baby. <laughs> um, um, anyway. Um yeah, so we're talking about season 12. Season 12. We we wish there were season 12 <laughs> Wait, of what? Sailing Yacht. <laughs> season four, episode 12. Let them eat cake. So previ cake. <laughs> previously we see that Lucy graduated from the university. And the crew eats the rest of the charter cast birthday cake. At least we thought they ate it all. And Colin is upset because he found out Daisy had sex with Gary. <laughs> I think I was like 10 minutes into the episode when I first texted you. Oh my God, fucking God. <laughs> like fucking Daisy. So um, I'm be curious as to know if you know at what point that was <laughs> when you get to that point in the recap. Yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out pretty Mm, yeah i'll figure it out so <laughs> daisy says she doesn't want to hurt anyone or to be hurt or hurt any friendships well uh blah 
<laughs> Maybe you thought of that before you slept with all the, the friends and the best friends and told them, yeah. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I know. Or be honest and actually communicate your feelings. Didn't mean to hurt anybody. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go fuck Gary in the hallway right outside the kitchen where you're standing. I mean, like. Mm. Yeah, but you know what? I feel like Colin has to take some ownership in this and just end it. Because that's some bullshit. Mm. If I were Colin, I would have not put up with that at all. But his ownership is very teeny tiny bit given daisy and all her fucking shenanigans but yeah. yes colin does have to he has to take some ownership but let's back up yeah <laughs> well let's go back to the cake so you know you you and i were talking about whether or not we thought that the guests would be mad that the cake was gone but plot twist they had a little teeny tiny sliver of cake left had enough one. to macgyver it together <laughs> they probably put their hands in it like scooped it together and like, mushed it. Fuck. okay here's what's left of it let's reshape it into a piece of cake it's a cake pop <laughs> <laughs> put some more like whatever fucking fruit or whatever on it here <laughs> right so thankfully he ate it and nobody was upset yeah <sighs> Okay, then we hear, we see Captain Glenn getting mad again the next morning, looking at all the stuff on the boat that was not done. Apparently, the guests went to bed at 2.30 in the morning, and then we're up at 6.30. Yeah, I was watching that, because, like, they were going to bed at 2, and they were like, yeah, we're going to be up at 5.45. I'm like, <laughs> the fuck you are. Like, oh, the fuck you are, aren't you? You're you're those people, aren't you? <laughs> I know. And Chase makes a good point. He was like, you have to not leave things like crumbs on the floor. If you only have a couple hours to clean, know what you should be cleaning. Like, what's priority? <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> It's probably not going to be like the side of the boat or I don't know, like the rails. It's probably just the basics of vacuuming and <laughs> sweep the floor. Like... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Wipe down the table or I... what do I know? I don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah and then we see lucy she's sad that she's not at her graduation she's like facetiming her friends yeah that's sad yeah but yachty life she's making it rain i guess with her tips <laughs> the guests are leaving and they're huh <laughs> tips <laughs> or both I don't, yeah I don't I mean, know. hey that's chase <laughs> that's captain america <laughs> <laughs> oh captain america was driving me a little bit crazy really i was, I was like oh my gosh i love him today i uh, loved him i loved him but like chill on the alicia love like every single co- interaction with her does not have to be some you know joke about you know wanting to get like get in get in her pants or whatever like like well it's it, probably the only interactions that they're going to show us they probably had great conversations i was all annoyed day. just um, based on what they showed i was like i was uncomfortable with it all i was like okay uh, <laughs> like, see i was because i was like she's flirting back she's flirting too i was like she needs to just not flirt she, yeah and he well, needs to not flirt and respect boundaries he needs to yeah he needs to like a, he he it was funny the first couple of times haha cute but like there was a line and and this is him <laughs> and then this is the line <laughs> and he went woo yeah right over it <laughs> uh-huh so yeah yep well the guests were leaving happy they said that she made the food perfectly in honor of their relatives that they yeah. you know so that was good yep Okay. I love so, I love having a chef that's like good, but also isn't completely neurotic. Like, you know, yeah. that dares the dares like bite the stew's heads off when the guests request something, you know, or anything. It's like Alicia's just like, okay, come on, all right. Sure. Or like lies about prepping stuff like conch shells and conch <laughs> from out of the shell and <laughs> you know. But just Natal- Natalie or Natal whatever was her name? Leon. Oh, Leah, no. Oh, I was thinking uh, Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. I don't remember who that was. Was that the chick that didn't make it like three episodes? No, on a uh, sailing. She was like a couple seasons ago. She was. Oh, I don't think I saw that season. Yeah, you did. 
I saw I season two. I made you. I made you, yeah. I think she was on season two. I made you watch it. Oh, I can't I just, remember. She, yeah, she wasn't very memorable. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she would like lie. She would like tell the guests, "Oh yeah, it'll be an eight course meal," and then she'll like change it to like a five course meal. And then, oh no, I never told him that. I didn't, no, no, it's a five course. It's always been a five course meal. But she would like do that all the time, and there'd be like a poached eggs, and she'd make scrambled eggs. Oh, oh those are poached eggs. You don't no, remember? I can't. Th- I've been watching so much reality TV. My brain has <laughs> rotted. My brain is done. Rotate stock in your brain, like <laughs> it's just garbage coming in, garbage coming in. I need like I need it out. Some of it has to go somewhere. <laughs> It's got to get out. I'm looking her up now. Natasha. Natasha. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. She was a little cocky thing, a little arrogant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she would, she would just, like, like throw all, like, the, the chocolate sauce and, like, marshmallows <laughs> on the table. Like, to make here, art. Here, it's art. <laughs> <laughs> That's like something my toddler would do at daycare. Let's just throw, let's just throw desserts around. She's at daycare. I know she fell asleep at six thirty tonight. <laughs> She's so tired. That is one of the benefits of daycare. Like, I mean, there's there's a lot. Like, I know it's hard for you, Mama, but like, there are a lot of benefits too. So, like, it's a much needed break for both of you. Like, both of you know. Yeah. I mean, you're always like been like super interactive with her, and that like you're she oh you're always like out doing stuff with her and having her do all these things, right? Which uh, made it an easy transition today. I dropped her off, and like I was like, okay, Kaya. And then before I could say anything, she goes, bye, mama, and, like, shoes me out of the room. I was like, wow, okay. It's like, that's lovely. But, well, yeah. just, well, it's just, I mean, look who, look strong little girl you're raising. Yeah. And then yeah. I checked the webcams today, like, throughout the day, and she was so happy all day. Oh, so Yeah. Just yeah. like, oh, I mean, it's an environment that she needs now. I mean, right. she's of age now, or she needs it, you know? And yeah. so... She's and she, and she, you know, she's gonna have friends and you know and um and and then you know you get a break and she gets a break and then you know. Let me tell you, there were some hot Annapolis dads. Okay, I didn't like get a chance to check for wedding rings or anything, mm. but picking up, I was like, there are a lot of dads picking hot up. Hot single I dads. Looking, I don't know. I'm about to find out though. I was looking a mess today. <laughs> like I'm about to find out. I was like, I gotta go back looking nice. <laughs> See if there's my lashes is on next time i'm picking up kaya <laughs> maybe not the mom bun with the leggings you know maybe, maybe upgrade a little and i'll be my work <laughs> uh, but we digress the broadcast will be right back oh my god you guys i want to tell you about this underwear that i'm obsessed with it is the fits everybody collection by skims And it it feels like no other underwear I've ever worn before. It's stretchy and soft and it kind of just melts onto your body and you forget you're wearing it. Skims is creating the next generation of underwear for everybody. And I do mean everybody. My girls are a 34 double D. I've breastfed. I've had a reduction. I've gained weight. I've lost weight. I've been through it all. And this is my new favorite bra that I wear all the time. It is the Fits Everybody t-shirt bra. And I'm telling you, it's a miracle. A t-shirt bra I can actually wear. I love it. It's my favorite. I'm also a super fan of the Fits Everybody racer back bra. It's my new go-to bra when working from home. The Fits Everybody collection of underwear is super lightweight and molds to your body. It's a buttery soft fabric that stretches twice its size without ever losing its shape, meaning that you get the perfect fit every time, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. You will get the perfect fit every time with these. And they're available in sizes double extra small up to a 4X. You guys believe the hype. The collection has nearly 90,000 five-star reviews for a reason. The Fits Everybody collection and more perfect fit essentials are available now at skims.com. Plus, you get free shipping on orders over $75. After you place your order, be sure to let them know that we sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to select the broadcast from the drop-down menu that follows. 
Hey, you guys, you know that I love my Nutrafol. I've been taking it for a long time and I'm going to continue to take it for a long time because I, like millions of Americans, experience thinning hair. It's more than common. It's normal, but it's not openly talked about, especially among women. Going through it can be lonely and frustrating, and it's time to change that conversation and join the thousands of women like me who are standing up for their strands with Nutrafol. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement, clinically shown to improve your hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Nutrafol supports healthy hair growth from within by targeting the five root causes of thinning, stress, hormones, environment, nutrition, and metabolism through a whole body health. Nutrafol has three unique formulas to support women throughout all stages of life, including postpartum and menopause. Each formula is physician formulated using natural, drug-free, medical grade ingredients in consistently effective dosages so that you get the most reliable results. In a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after six months. Over 3,000 top doctors and stylists recommend Nutrafol as an effective and high quality solution for healthier hair. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code FRAUD to save $10 off your first month subscription. This offer is only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, you get free shipping on every order. Get $10 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com with the promo code FRAUD. And now back to the broadcast. Okay, so then we're back to Gary and Alex talking about how Chase wasn't happy with the way Alex, you know, had the boat. Again, we're talking about this. And then Gary's like making fun of Chase, basically like not being a leader and actually just making fun of him for telling him about the way the boat looked rather than actually being professional. Mm -hmm. Shocker. Yeah, I loved it later in the episode when when Chase goes to Alex and was like, yo, like Gary's making me look like I'm a tattletale and like that's not at all what it was supposed to be. And I and then they were like, why don't we just cut out the middleman, like the little man? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, OK, we don't need him. All right. We're cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them. And I then don't that's, at all either. No. And then that's when Alex was like he's dealing with a lot of small dick energy i was like oh my god <laughs> uh, amazing yeah. yeah the man with few words finally said something hilarious mm -hmm. well the guest left them twenty thousand dollars so that was great job. yeah and then the crew throws a little party for lucy for her graduation which was super sweet yes very cute we see them leaving to go out to dinner and Mads makes a comment about wanting to start drama by making out with Alex. And oh she's God. literally sitting next to him talking about this and he's just she's, like, dur, dur, like, I don't know what she wants. like giving him a hand job. Like her hand is like in his lap. <laughs> yes. She basically was like, kiss me without saying kiss me and hit him. Was He was just not at all paying attention or understanding. He was just not, again, not picking up what she's putting down. And I know he said earlier in, in like different episodes in this episode again, too, he mentioned that he didn't want to do anything with Gary, like with Gary there with because Gary, yeah. disrespect his boss. But come on, how do you have any like sort of. He's just maybe remember we talked about maybe he's just using that as an excuse. Maybe because I don't have any respect for a boss that acts like that. I just I don't. Yeah. So. I don't know why it just doesn't. And live she's his life. like clearly, but then I mean, he does have a point, and then it's like <laughs> you you made your choice, like you you were you're sleeping with him, like it's kind of like eh, you know you made like, your bed and now you're sleeping in it. No pun intended. <laughs> right? Literally, right? Yeah. Um, you know, so I kind of don't blame him for for that. Um, I mean, we've seen on other seasons where that has happened, and then we've seen on other seasons where that hasn't mattered. So, <laughs> so I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends what you want. I know Mads wouldn't care. Mads gives no shits, right? Yeah. Like, she just wants to bone Alex, and that's it. She's like, yeah, I know. I screwed up. Like, what? And then he, and he's like, really? How? How did you screw up? 
And she's like, really, Alex? Really? Are you this like, dumb? <laughs> yeah. Although she kind of made me a little bit like, ugh, later on in the episode, too. For when? Which part? The part at the end when Gary was like all over her and going to kiss her. And the day before, she was like, I'm mad at you. I have this and that. And then she's just like falling into Gary's trap. Right. But it's almost like annoying to watch. I could just yeah, say. yeah. I'm just like, girl, like he's just just move on. You just leave him alone because I don't want to see this. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. So then, okay, okay. So then, <laughs> Captain Glenn. I'm sure this was your favorite part of the whole episode. Captain Glenn is playing chess by himself. I was oh like, God, I God. know. Katrina took a video of this. I did. I, I did. I no. did. <laughs> it's about to go up on my Instagram. <laughs> I was like, it's going to be a reel. I already know this. <laughs> it totally is. My favorite part. Thank you, Vivian. You, Thank you, Vivian you, Joy. Do you think that he was teaching himself how to play? Because that's why he had the computer out and was like looking and at like, something. Oh, that wasn't very good. Yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, I don't know. Was he playing against somebody else and they were saying, move it to this, you know. Doubt it. Move to, you know, move my piece. Because, like, they do that in, like, prison and stuff, right? You could just do online chess and play virtually. (laughs) I think he was trying to teach himself. He's so, I don't know, but I loved it. I don't care. I don't care what he was doing. God bless him. (laughs) God bless Mm -hmm. Captain Glenn. (laughs) Yep. Well, then we see Colin and Gary stepping away from the dinner table and they're having a conversation about Daisy. And it's kind of just the same old song and dance. Colin is upset. He never was told about what happened. So now he feels like it's in a, you know, an awkward situation for him or whatever. And then Mads, they get back from the dinner. Mads and Alex make their way to the jacuzzi while Colin and Daisy make out in bed. So I guess all is well on their front right at this point. And Lucy and Gary jump in the water, which looked like okay. a blast. So I think you failed to mention the van rides, right? Oh, yes. That's okay. True. But before we get to the van rides, back it up just a little bit before is um, Daisy, was she talking to Colin saying, how are you and Glenn, you know, you and Gary or whatever or something. And he was like, maybe, or, she, or she was talking to Gary. I can't remember which one. And she was like, maybe we should all talk together. Maybe I should talk to you both. And they were like, no, That's no, no, so no. Weird. Whoever it was, was like, no, 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 no. Just it'll blow over. Like, it'll be fine. And then going to the vans, she put herself, Gary and Colin in one van. Speci- <laughs> you know, she was just told. <laughs> fucking daisy like no don't <laughs> and then she does so I awkward that, i think that was the first goddamn daisy <laughs> oh that was the first daisy okay I think that was the first at what point that i texted you about gotcha it. god that was just because then it got worse after that it got really worse like I was kind of indifferent to her. I didn't dislike her. I didn't like her so much. It was just kind right. of like whatever. But now I'm really starting to dislike her. Yeah. Yeah. She's really showing her ass the, these couple episodes. So, yeah. yeah. So, so. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they're back at the, the, um, the boat. Um. Then Mads is on the phone talking to her family and everyone's wasted. And of course, Gary walks by drunk and calls her pathetic out of nowhere for no reason. Just because he's on the phone, not giving him attention. It Yeah, it almost was like, I couldn't tell if he was like, hey, and she didn't respond. And then he said pathetic or if he just said pathetic. Either way, he wasn't getting attention, whether it was, you know, in response to something he said or not in response. He's going to get annoyed anyway. So I think, yeah. He's, yeah he's like a toddler he's like a small child that needs attention is gonna hit you or not physically but just like literally try to get your attention out of her way possible yeah. and then becoming mean when you're not reacting mm-hmm. yeah uh, yeah so Mads is like it's over it's over fuck you it's over whatever I'm like okay let's see how long this lasts I already knew <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> we, it was like 24 hours later she's making out with them in the kitchen is the dick that good though i mean i would just walk away uh, yeah i don't know it can't uh, be that good can't be so then we see in the galley alicia no dick is that good no not to be disrespected like that no Mm-mm. uh alicia gives chase a big hug and then they go to bed and Chase is in his room talking to Colin, thinking that it's just him and Colin, makes a joke about Daisy. And then he's like, I guess he sees another arm and he's like, oh, Whoa, oh wait, wait, <laughs> yeah. You're, are you alone? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank God he didn't say anything bad. You know what I mean? He didn't say anything yeah. like, well, then he gets up and tries to sneak in bed and knocks on the uh, Alicia's door or whatever and was like, yeah. hey. Can I come in here? And she's like, no, you can't sleep with me. No, next to me. like, sorry, but no. Like, see, and he just, he starts just making it weird at a point. You know? I think, yeah, and that was his, like, dumb, like, his 23-year-old, however old he is, like, just not thinking correctly. Ooh. I'm like, this guy is young. Yeah. Um. Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, he goes and yeah. he sleeps, like, on the, on the, um, fucking, the crew the mess. crew mess <laughs> benches why didn't he just go sleep in one of the guest cabins like gary did i don't i think you know when you're drunk you don't really care look at alex slept on the deck up top <laughs> that one night <laughs> he looked comfortable as hell sleeping on the deck <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're drunk you're comfortable when you're young i should say yeah. young and yeah. drunk yeah now if i got drunk and passed out somewhere which would never happen but if it did i would be dead i would not be walking right for two weeks right <laughs> yeah so then we see daisy uh calling colin gary in bed like gary get out <laughs> hey, what are you doing why yeah. are you in my bed <laughs> so Awkward. i was like oh my fucking god are you kidding me right but then she makes it even worse later when she's just all like what oh like Oh, that's no big deal. It's just because I was thinking of both of you. That was awful. She and and he he's just like just fucking own your shit, right. man. Like if it were me, I'd have been like I was having a nightmare. <laughs> Gary, it was a nightmare. It was awful. It was horrible. I don't know if there is any way out of that. No, it really she, isn't. I I think that it would have been different if they were like having sex and she called him Gary then that would have been a little bit different but like she was half asleep I, I get it it wasn't the best thing to say right i mean obviously it was she didn't make it any better by her no. response though she did not she and, did not and then not and, and and just like basically not owning any part of it and just being like what huh you know and why are you like why are you upset about it da, 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 da. like and not getting where he's coming from and now here's the here's the interesting thing for me is that to flash back a little bit they had the scene of gary kind of semi-apologizing to colin and i say semi-apologizing because he wasn't really apologizing he was like right. sorry about you like you type of, of thing you know and he still didn't own anything and what was i supposed to do and I made a promise, you know, and, and I still hurt, you know, one of you in the process, but oh well, but I still, I had a promise, you know, like, just shut up. And, and the way that Gary reacts and, and is in these situations, the same way Daisy is. This scene yeah. was really showing that to me. I was like, Daisy in that scene where she's sort of like blowing it off, like it's no big deal and and oh it's just because you're both in my head and da, 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 right. how she's blaming everybody and everything but herself i agree That's the same thing gary does like, they probably it. are perfect for each other and so meanwhile back you know during all of this is going on you know they intermix the producers are intermixing these scenes where daisy and gary are like practically fucking each other in the common ways or whatever and then the laundry room which we know rocky and yes. you know, we have, a history every interaction they have it's like <laughs> all flirting with each other all like all over each other if she really liked colin like when i like a man i don't flirt like that with another man i don't what? and i don't blame people if that's what they want to do that's fine but to me that's a just that's a level of disrespect because if you really care about somebody you're not going to go to that level right. of like 
touchy feely like right. no it's just not okay and if the roles were reversed and it was daisy and two guys i mean i'm sorry if it was uh gary and another girl or colin mm-hmm. and another girl that had the same relationship Colin and another girl let's say she would be all over that she would not be happy she would be acting way worse than Colin Mm -hmm. and you know talking about respect and things like that and she's the one who's acting a fool basically yeah yeah really it's just and then you add on top of that like throughout both of these episodes her um service quality going down for no Why? good reason. Like at first it looks like, okay, Captain Glenn's being, a, okay. Like he's being a little ridiculous or maybe he doesn't know what he doesn't know, you know, or whatever, <laughs> you know, like telling Mads, well, that's why you don't put, open it with, you know, open the champagne with your face in front of it. Like, and she was like, I, I did have my face in front of it. Like what, why is that? Right. even? You know? So you're a little like, okay, what do you, well, Captain Glenn, what's, what's going on with you? But then as it, kept going on each subsequent time it happened it's more and more like jesus fucking christ daisy like what the fuck and then passing it off that very last time where she's passing it off like oh into the guest well we don't hear our radio i don't pay attention to the radios when they're docking because i don't care about you guys to weather docking like I, i feel like she has one foot out the door because that's crazy or off the ship i should say She's um, just like so distracted and all this stuff, but she, again, p- putting the blame on something else. We don't hear it. I don't listen to it because X, Y, Z. Like I just like, checked on them five minutes ago. Fifteen minutes later, right? It's always something or somebody else. Like take ownership. Listen, and- as somebody in the restaurant business, I would never not check on a table for fifteen minutes. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. And tables are easier to manage than being on a yacht where you don't know what the hell these people want. Right. You, know, you really don't that know. That level of service. Like, right. you know, Gary tended to the guy's wound, went to go dock the boat, comes back, <laughs> and there's still no Daisy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They help tend to the guy's fucking wound because he walked into the and glass door. <laughs> her excuse was, well... If it was an emergency, somebody would have found me. Like, that's not an excuse. Yeah. 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 Just because they say, you know, go radio silent when they're docking and, quote, I don't have to listen to it because it's just them docking. Like, no, it's a radio. Like, there are emergencies. What if the boat hit, crashed? What right. if where well, you're docking? Like, you need to listen. I don't understand her. No. Mm. It's her inability to take responsibility. Just like what what uh uh colin was saying and maybe she's like she's really distracted you know because like a couple of the times she didn't hear her radio she was in talking to colin so she's all caught up and she's you know pulling a hannah basically and putting the dude before her work which is what hannah did with that whatever what's his name i don't remember when she had her breakdown over him i can't remember which guy it was chandler i don't know I don't even remember. They all run together. <laughs> I try to block her from my low deck memory. I just miss Kate Chastain. I miss her so much. Oh yeah. my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Kate Chastain wouldn't have left them for 17 minutes. No, no, ma'am. She would have had her radio on. She would have had her radio on him and listening. Captain Lee would not have stood for that. Mm-mm. Captain Lee would have thrown her ass overboard. Mm-hmm. make her walk the plank <laughs> anyhow <laughs> so then the next day going back Mads doesn't re- or Gary doesn't remember oh yeah what happened so he says yes. not taking responsibility for anything he's like right and being blacked oh. out drunk doesn't mean you that still you got yourself blacked out drunk. So you are still well, responsible for all the things you did. You still said it, the thing. Just because you don't remember it doesn't mean you didn't say the thing and you didn't act the way. Exactly. And so he's like, I'm sorry for, that I said that. I don't remember it, but it wasn't my fault or whatever. No, it's like, oh, gosh, you know, I'm sorry I said that. I, I don't recall. I was blacked out drunk, but I'm. I'm sorry, but I still said it. So I'm sorry for saying it. Yep. I mean, (laughs) 
that's yeah. i don't know i don't know that's just me take a little responsibility yeah like, own like it. take take lessons from chase captain america when he apologized for being an asshole yeah when he was drunk you know he's like hey so i was like I, I i get too drunk and i get too stupid my bad i'm sorry yeah not like oh, i'm working on it. yeah I'm drunk and i groped your boobies <laughs> but i was drunk so whatever uh-huh and he doesn't well, realize then, what he's doing huh he just doesn't realize what he's doing no you would think too when you've been on tv this long and you can rewatch your seasons that you would learn from your behaviors you know but he has no self-awareness and he has no desire to have any self-awareness. Like right. he doesn't see it as a need to look at his own behavior. He, there's there's no reason for him to at this it's point. true. You're right. You You're know, right. Cause he's still getting all the pussy he wants. Yep. You know, he's getting all the attention he wants. That, look at that thirst trap picture he posted the other day. Uh-huh. You know, and then. Looking I like mean, Fabio. <laughs> when they, hey, blowing in the wind i can't believe it's not butter our, our younger <laughs> listening viewer audience or have no idea what we're talking about i can't believe it's not butter they still uh, make that yeah they do they yeah. Make, I yeah i don't know i don't, I don't buy it, it yeah. so i don't buy it so i don't know <laughs> uh use real butter um anyway yeah. so then we see at the very end of the episode we see new charter gas boarding and sure enough it's like some sort of unwritten rule of the parsifal that when a new charter gas comes on board some shit goes down <laughs> and sure enough it was not a fire this time it was the boat about to crash into another boat right right the <laughs> anchor was whatever dragging, was dragging yeah. and they're the, and to hear Glenn talk, you know, the other guy wasn't doing anything to stop the situation. And talk it's about fun, yeah, it's funny to see like all the captains dealing with different issues. Like Captain Sandy always dragged the anchor. Like her, her anchors. Remember they got stuck too. Mm. Um, a few times she had anchor things where they got wrapped around each other. Then you've got Captain Glenn with the Parsifal and just things blowing up, shit just going everywhere, smoke, <laughs> right? fire, things literally blowing up in the yeah. anchor. I'm like, Whoop. okay. <laughs> oh man and then i don't know we're just gonna go over to france for a little while okay <laughs> he must have sensed <laughs> captain glenn sensed uh daisy's lackadaisical attitude and decided to go to france because our service was gonna suck he knew it was happening he was like uh oh let me just make this a little bit better for them <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> uh so then we leads us into the next episode episode 13 bones with steaks so sure enough, the they dodged a bullet with the uh, crash, and they both were able to get away from each other. And I love how Captain Glenn said, "P three is gonna live to sink another day." I was like, "It's <laughs> gonna live to sink another day." I was like, "I love this." Oh gosh. Um, and then Alicia yeah. made the mosaic sushi, which looked freaking delicious. Uh huh. And beautiful. all of her food, I would eat any of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I wrote down, Gary is flirting with Daisy in front of Colin, which... <laughs> See? That was a repetitive... Daisy's being a fucking twat hole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gary! Somebody commented on our uh, your Instagram about, I can hear Daisy's voice saying, Gary, Gary! <laughs> Mark, can't do safe. It. Mark safe from having sex with Gary. <laughs> With Gary, with Gary, Gary, <laughs> Gary, Gary. <laughs> People are gonna mute us. They're gonna be like, "I'm done with this podcast." <laughs> so we're gonna get another complaint about. Uh, you, go back to ninety day. <laughs> I know. You know, part of me does want. Day. I'll it's be not, honest. It sucks since they don't do ninety day anymore. You guys were never ever going back to ninety day ever, right? Ever just stop. If yeah. you want us to go back to 90 Day, it's not going to happen. Go no. find another 90 Day podcast. <laughs> a part of me wants to have sex with Gary just to see what all the hype is about. <laughs> I'll be honest. Like, I kind okay. of do. Um, not going to. Not going to not gonna try to. But I'm just saying, like, what For the science. hell? For science. For science. <laughs> <laughs> Case study. Case for science you would do it for science <laughs> see what all the hype was about <laughs> oh man 
is the big dick energy or is the small dick energy? there's not there are there's no big dick energy there absolutely none <laughs> people that have big dicks don't have to do that they don't have don't to have act, to like act that. that way no. right nope <laughs> i bet alex has a big dick because he's calm quiet and collected if he probably he, just knows you know it probably because if he didn't he'd have a lot more game you're right you know he would have to have more game if his if he you know if he if he has a giant wanker then he gets laid anyway right like yeah, that's true. he just has to like you know show it off in some kind of way and then he just needs a speedo while he cleans the boat right right with his, you know when, when you're on the little like thing that you sit in to clean the windows you're the oh, little yeah. like <laughs> He's he's wearing a speedo. We put it, put the sushi on him instead of right. like, on Gary. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> dancing, dancing. dancing. Lexi's dancing. God help! Thank God you guys can't see it. I know, right? All right. So then, oh, here we get to the crazy stuff. So the charter <laughs> guest Tim is looking for some for someone to bring them rosé someone anyone <laughs> 13 minutes without service now i will say i did not watch you know the latest uh vanderpump stuff but i did see on the reunion how they were timing tom's lives like 136 seconds earlier or something like they had put like different times on it i was like is this what bravo does they're just gonna like put everything out there they're gonna literally time it and put it in the episodes i love it i love preciseness it's <laughs> beautiful here's beautiful. the receipts bitch right <laughs> they don't shy away from any of that on bravo and i fucking love it they're just straight to the point yep yeah uh so the guests are eating a huge italian feast and we see them go five minutes without service needing mm-hmm. refills on their wine and then 10 minutes i was like no way Mm-mm. no way here it comes 17 minutes without service in mm-hmm. the middle of their dinner yeah 17 minutes That's- that's insane and the guest was up and dancing trying to find her own wine bottle like <laughs> not okay finds glenn just like hello <laughs> not okay yeah yeah uh yeah and then we see chase Ford with alicia and the and the gal talking about his biceps good for cuddling you like, like it just like okay it just it was like i was just secondhand hand uncomfortable with it after yeah. that point. I was just like, eh. I mean, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, then we see Captain Glenn taking the guests to France and docking them, which was a challenge. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, sure. knew attention. they knew attention to our service. Bonjour. <laughs> Welcome to France. <laughs> oh, and then he said, <laughs> okay, so the let's see hold on uh... okay so then it's the next day it's, it's the morning time it's very hot outside daisy had set up the whole table for them and she made a comment how wow it's really hot now at this point any normal person would be like wow if it's too hot for me in the five minutes took me to set up the table it's probably going to be too hot for the guests but no she did not think like that not, did not consider that nope so the guests sit down they're really hot they go looking for a server again because they want to move and um and captain glenn was like the guests should not have to move their own plates now in their defense the guests were like no no no, let me help you they felt really terrible about you know having to right so so yeah so the they come in they're basically like can we move there's like a nice breeze upstairs can we move upstairs so they came up the guests came up with it themselves and then they're like oh yeah of course and so they go and they start clearing and they trying to insist to the guests no let us do it let us do it and the guests are like it'll be so much faster if we help you (laughs) right she's not wrong but she they also shouldn't have to so yeah in the in their defense i mean glenn didn't know what he didn't know right right they tried right it was like really just yeah i don't yeah. know so yeah oh here we go gary and daisy then flirting in the laundry room and then he pretends like he's motorboating her i'm like this is so inappropriate i would have slapped yeah. him yeah get your face off my boobs and but, then but daisy she- goes and makes out with colin in the engine room right after i know that's why mm. 
and Colin's sitting there, oh, well, you know, you have to figure it out. You got to figure out what's what you want to do. And it's about you and, and, and what you want. And no, you need to make a decision. You could make a decision in this too, Colin. You don't want somebody like that. She can't, she's doing that kind of shit right in front of you. Like, no. Mm -mm. I know. And Colin is just such a nice guy. He doesn't deserve that. Yeah. Mm -mm. He's a, he's a national treasure and he must be protected at all costs. Mm -hmm. So I will go out and come punch someone on his behalf. I'll be right there with you. All right. <laughs> Excellent. We ride it, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> so in between, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that's minimal and not important. Like they actually step onto the land in France and go shopping and things like that. Yeah. So I'm just going to kind of skip over that because nothing really yeah. happened. You don't care. <laughs> uh, except for surprise, surprise, Daisy and Gary flirting in France. Oh, yeah. Um, shocker. Bonjour. <laughs> right. <laughs> then everybody gets back on board and uh, Gary is just disgustingly sweaty. And everyone's like, you're going to shower before you're like the human sushi, right? Go shower. Go shower. He's like extra salty. And I was like, disgusting. Yeah. And, and then in your that, favorite quote <laughs> you want to read it yeah go read okay. so then we see mads and she says i've had sex with gary and i still wouldn't eat sushi off of him that's so unsanitary <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh man that's so unsanitary i'm surprised the guests actually ate the sushi because then he had they had the wasabi on the nipples which has to burn yeah but um yeah they were eating the sushi off of them yeah no i'm just i mean besides the objectification aspect of it which you know whatever um that's not for this podcast um yeah gross just gross like i don't want to be eating the sushi off somebody's body like mm -hmm. i get you know sometimes like i've seen it where they put it on leaves yes where are the leaves put a tablecloth on them fine Something. You know, because they just put the leaves and then they put the sushi on the leaves, which is the same thing if it was on your tray or whatever. They put it on the leaves, like the bamboo leaves or whatever. Like They had placemats. Why didn't they use that? Why Why couldn't they use that? Why couldn't they do Why did they have to put the sushi rice and stuff directly on his skin? Super weird. And I think Gary liked it. Yeah, he liked it way too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. totally a kink for him i'm not trying to kink shame anybody but like gary i just want to shame gary for being gary <laughs> nothing to do with kink with the a kink of wanting food eaten off your body yeah it teaches own. We, yeah because i mean some circumstances you know i'm just saying <laughs> uh, so Later on, we see Gary kissing Maz and being super weird, and that made me feel uncomfortable. It was just awkward, and I'm like, oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, and the crew mess when she's just like, okay, I'm over it. Yeah. Ugh. I'll have sex with you again, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. And then Daisy asks Captain Glenn if her sister could spend the night on the boat because she's coming into town, and he was like, okay, okay. okay. There's nothing wrong. Nothing's going to go wrong here. No, I you're will, doing a great job, Daisy. A great job. <laughs> I will say, um, I like that Captain Glenn is not nearly as uptight as Captain Lee is um, about this kind of thing, right? Like, Captain Lee would have had, like, a cow about it. And he would have made it, like, some, you know, big, you know... There would, You know, he would have made it, like, no, you can't, You but you get an hour off the boat to go see you know whatever some, some your nothing. brother spent 24 hours flying in to see you you get 30 minutes and then uh and then you're off yeah no like, and no drinking yeah right um you know i mean he he, he captain lee uses that as punishment too and it's like children you know like no you didn't do this you're not gonna get screen time or whatever no no screen time for you you didn't do your homework you know like, you, like no you don't get to go hang out with your sister because you didn't sweep the deck properly <laughs> I mean, you don't have that so i appreciate not having that kind of uptightness and then i appreciate that the crew all gets along 
to the extent that they do. Like Mads and Lucy all get along. There's not this weird tension between any of them. They all get along in this way that's just funny and amusing. And you're seeing their actual like interactions with each other. And it's like, I love that. It's like genuine. Yeah. And it's like, it's such a breath of fresh air after our it other. Is. And they've been, focusing, <laughs> and they've been focusing so much on the Daisy, Colin, Gary thing. I'm like, come on. It's just like. Yeah, they've been building up to it. And so now it's like, oh, it's getting ready to hit the crescendo. So yeah, there's not a lot it. of drama elsewhere. Like you said, everyone's getting along. Like the girls are getting along. Everybody's but happy. They, they are showing a little bit of their side stories. I, I do wish they would show a little bit more. I agree. Um, you know, and and, and not necessarily all the you know like daisy gary half makeout scenes you know where they're about right. to like really like go at it or you know or wherever they're at but um yeah like she just she just like started off bad in this episodes and then just got worse like yeah. he, just when you thought she couldn't get worse so than she was she was being worse um yeah, yeah i don't know why he doesn't like sit her down and really well maybe he does in the next episode and fire her or not fire her but like sit her down and put her on notice because oh captain glenn because yeah. she's not doing her i work. feel like yeah. captain glenn is almost too nice yeah i kind of like i i kind of see similarities between captain glenn and captain jason from the australia one mm. except for captain jason is way more hands-on than any other captain i've ever seen like in the trenches with them but he also can hold a like stronger boundary whereas captain glenn kind of just i feel like he makes these remarks but it's not really threatening it's like oh wait, mm -hmm. wait. yeah yeah like I, I i sense that they they have had conversations like this before like um because when like it, early in the season when when captain glenn said something to daisy and he references some some statement that they must that clearly came out of an earlier conversation about her taking feedback and criticism or whatever um so they're not obviously showing us everything so i'm hoping ah. that there's that there's more um but i do hope we get to see him come down on her because i want to see if she like owns up to her shit or she continues to to you know play gary basically. yeah because she's way too comfortable in her job i guess she's gonna act like that well, yeah. let me see the guest walking into the glass door and he's bleeding, which mm -hmm. I've walked into a screen door before, so I can relate. And so is my dog a million times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it happens. And then we already talked about it at the beginning that Gary's on the radio calling for Daisy, needing ice. He can't leave his position because he's helping dock the boat, so he mm -hmm. can't leave. Right. And obviously the guy's not dying. If he needed to do CPR or whatever, he would have left. But at the, in that moment, he needed to be there. Yeah. And she's like talking about Bonnie coming into town, like polishing silverware, not paying attention at all to her radio. And that's when we see it was 15 minutes after the injury that Gary made the call for help. Yeah. And she presumed that somebody would just, you know, find her. <laughs> yeah. And then she tells the guests, oh, sorry, I don't really listen when they're talking because, ha ha, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Like the guest just ran into a door and he doesn't need to hear an excuse. Like, no. He doesn't I'm need so to hear sorry. that you're not listening to your radio because you don't care about it, the guests. Right. That's what they're hearing from you when you tell them that. <laughs> like, even I know this. I don't work in the service industry, much less like the seven-star service industry. And you mean like I, having common sense, Katrina? I have common sense, yeah. Wow. Sometimes. Sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, and that's it. And that's how the episode ends, right? Yeah, well, the guests leave for the uh, uh, guests leave. They have a tent meeting, and that's when Captain Glenn sits everyone down and very nicely says, keep your radios on. It's a safety issue. And that is also when Daisy makes the excuse that I can't hear the radio sometimes. Like, just own it. Okay, you're right, Captain Glenn. It won't happen again. This could have been a really bad emergency. I will make sure when you dock that I listen to the radio, that's all that he wanted to hear. That's all that needed to happen. Just say just yes, just... sir. Right. Yeah. Got that's it. it. That's it. Got it. But no, oh, I can't always hear the radio. Just so you know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's your job. Like you were literally running a yacht. Yeah. <laughs> they, wanted service. they needed service. Like, come on now. 
Um, yeah, she, she just she just got stupider and stupider. Yeah. So. <laughs> and the next time we see uh, them trying to race another sailboat, we see Daisy's <laughs> sister meeting the crew and Gary kissing. It looks like Gary kissed Daisy on the lips. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. They're they're totally fucking before the season's over. That's I mean that's that we know. Poor Col- oh, they are. Oh, for sure, hundred percent. Poor Colin. You know they just look at them. They're eye fucking each other every time they see each other. They're basically finger fucking, walking by each other in the hallways. So gross. <laughs> you know. They should just have like a big foursome, just a big orgy, a below deck orgy. Just get it over with. Everybody have sex with that's everybody. What, get that's over what with. Gary was saying, right? He wanted oh, this that's right. right. <laughs> like just, just I can't. All the sexual tension coming at me from every which way. It's too Chase, much. Alicia, and then <laughs> what? Uh, Chase going after Alicia. And oh then yeah, yeah. The Daisy Colin, you know Gary <laughs> love triangle. I just, it's too much yeah alex just sitting back kind of like wanting to do something but mad's like that we need need to do that diagram she likes him but he likes her but she likes him (laughs) and they've had sex but they don't (laughs) but he (laughs) given the chance he'd have sex with her yeah Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so uh, yeah um but i i'm gonna predict that they have sex before the season's over so that's my prediction with that um and nobody else will give a flying fuck <laughs> basically <laughs> um and they'll be like thank you god think you know god fucking time it's about fucking time you know? my prediction is colin gets tired of her shit and leaves it alone yeah yeah i think predict that will also occur yes please colin you're so please. beautiful on the outside please have common sense please please be smart please, please, please be smart please. The, but you know all of this makes sense about what the earlier like in the season there was comments on that daisy would did it like an ama or whatever and her stories on her instagram she wasn't like she wasn't thrilled with the season and her behavior on the season and stuff so like they were talking about that um no really and how she wasn't yeah she wasn't thrilled with her behavior on the season but nobody knew what she was talking about yet because this was several episodes ago, right? So now it's like, oh, okay, that's all making sense now. Yeah. Yeah, I talked about it, I don't know, probably five, seven episodes ago. God only knows, you know. Right. <laughs> A while back. So but I remember somebody on the the below deck Reddit was saying, was commenting on the general like tenor of daisy's stories or something like that about how she wasn't thrilled with her herself her performance you can't, as it yeah were. like you can't have your cake and eat it too because <laughs> that's what she's trying to do and you I, had to use that phrase didn't you i did again i think i used it last week but like you know she's trying she's really trying to be able to kind of dive into both relationships and she wants level. to play both sides of this she wants to come out on top of Right. not being the asshole and she's gonna be the asshole in no, some way right well like in a normal dating situation two people wouldn't know each other and you wouldn't be living with said two people mm-hmm. and you, you know you don't have to be in a relationship and you can date whoever you want sleep with whoever you want whatever as right. long as you're single but like you can't act like that on a yacht with your co or two yeah. co-workers <laughs> yeah it has a lot more impact <laughs> right i mean you can but you're gonna look stupid like i don't know <laughs> But she's Talk trying to out. like thread the needle very carefully here, you know, and come out. She doesn't want to be come out the bad guy. And, you know, she doesn't want to come out the asshole. And I don't know that there's any way for her to come out of this looking like anything but an asshole. Right. You know, so yeah. it's just like own up to it at this point and just, you know, all right, you're right. I handled this whole thing piss poorly and I wanted Gary the whole time. I just didn't know I got confused because maybe she's in denial me off and I didn't know. So I was going with the next because you were cute and we've always had chemistry. So I figured that, you know, but then he started, you know, and, you know, just being fucking honest. Well, I don't think she's honest with herself. I think she's yeah. in denial. I think Absolutely. she really does not believe that she likes Gary. When yeah. it is very obvious that on yeah. some level she deeply does. Oh God, yeah. Not even on a deep level. It's like she's not that deep. She's she, <laughs> she's not she's not a very deep individual individual. Uh, um, yeah. 
um so anyway um yeah so that's our double double deep episode of extra wet wednesday double deep, <laughs> double deep. <laughs> oh it's been a long night this was you rough beat. for me tonight <laughs> my brain is like it's a monday i got up really early this morning too it's monday it, double episode it's late you know all of that all of that yeah so yeah yeah anyway yep you go to bed all right (laughs) peace out everyone thanks for listening okay bye